What's going on guys, it's Radar here, and this is round one of season four, 2015 of the V8 Supercars official series. Coming from Donington tonight, we've got 30 laps ahead, uh, starting fifth, we should, we're, we're sort of on the pace this week. Um, you know, SDC, ERA, all those guys are in here as well, um, car six, so should, it's an okay soft, uh, we'll put it that way tonight. But, Shubro did the Americas race Saturday lunchtime, started fourth, finished fourth. Um, no need for a pit stop, 77 litres of fuel, Is that all we, that's all we need to get us home. So here we go guys, 30 laps of Donington, it's the national layout, enjoy. Green, green, green. Uh, found the bike point within settlement for too long. Got one on your left. Thanks, Bo. All clear, all clear. My god, you guys are fucking stupid. Sorry about that. Quiet. Tires are a bit cold, we're on a 31 degree track, um, so the group's there, it's just the tires are a bit cold from sitting on the group for so long. Almost right the back of Bo there. Here's fourth place. Dude, you had to slow down. He's got no apex speed through that final chicane there. I, sh I am quicker than him through that corner. I'm tempted to have a look here. But I don't think I can get it done safely and these guys up ahead are squabbling hardcore.
So Marcelo is just hanging in there as well with Wayne. Um, we'll see how this plays out. I don't know how the end of race pace will be. But at the moment, the car is feeling pretty good. I think he's mirror driving, he's holding me up at the apex when I'm close. Not a lot I can do at the moment. It's Donington's a tricky track to pass on. And And if you're gonna do it, you've really gotta send it. And after events that have transpired recently, I don't trust Bo. So the boys behind us are battling pretty hard as well, letting us have a bit of a gap. So let's just focus on Bo. I'm probably not going to get to Ian or Ethan. Of course, Dynamic Track is in play in official series. Um, they just start with a, an auto set track and it will rubber in. Not too much really, I mean it's only 30 laps. And it's on a pretty cold track. Um, so you won't see a real darkening effect or any marbles forming. Both of us had a bit of a loose moment there. Not as close this time, which is better. I can have a sort of my own run through here. Because it is a very awkward turn if you can't see everything uh, clearly if you're unsighted in certain points.
just a little bit out of rhythm this lap. Come on, lap car. Thank you. We're on your right. All clear, all clear. <laughs> We lost, lost a bit of ground there to bow that lap, but we should be able to get it back. So we're pulling away from Wayne and Marcelo, so it's really no threat from behind, which is great. It's a great thing to have. And we click the curb on the right there, and Fulcher's gone. I think he died, thought you did. He just DC'd. So there's really not a lot going on in this race, which is what happens at Donington. It can produce a bit of a snore fest. Just keep hitting that curb on the right in the chicane there, and it's throwing us off. First off track of the night. Just not getting the chicane right at the moment, not comfortable with the brakes. Getting inside locking in some places and rear locking in others, it's really not a great combo to have. Because I'd rather have it locking in the same place everywhere than I can fix it with a brake bias change, whereas it's like this, you can't do much with it, you've got to drive around it.
That was a bit better. Too much throttle too early. And there's some of that front locking again. Thankfully, we didn't actually lose too much time both with those mistakes. So that lap was terrible. So not too bad that time, we just had that moment coming down the hill which was rather odd. Obviously until there I could actually hear the car understeer. Get the rhythm back. Uh, stopped and pointed much nicer there after that bias change. Not making any progress now, it's kind of just holding station. Sure, 
I think slap traffic might be able to buy us a bit of a bit of a gap closer. Yeah, car's starting to die away now. Oh, they're just getting quicker. It, it's probably that one. So we're in no man's land now. Nothing happening. Don't be that lap car. On the right. Thank you. I know I made a mistake, but still. Really, not a lot happening. We've got uh, ten to go. We have ten to go this time. Back. So I guess while there's not a lot going on, I can probably talk about what happened on the weekend in sim racing worlds and what's coming up for me. Uh, so on the weekend we had, well actually yesterday, that time of recording this, uh, was the Premier Series round from Mossport. Not a great round, um, I forgot how to qualify again. So it was two sprint races with 25 laps. Um, so we started 15th for the first one and 16th for the second. And then we raced our way up to 11th in the first race, um, passing cars properly, and then 9th because there was a pit stop involved because they limited the fuel tank. Um, we jumped from 15th to 9th in the pit stops, and they just held station for the rest of the race. Um, pit early got out of the train, so we weren't battling and had some clean air for a few laps, and that got us in front of who we needed to be in front of. So I mean, a bad weekend kind of went good in the end. But then coming up this weekend, we've got the AEC, so the Australian Endurance Championship, Spa 24-hour. Um, so that'll be a 
big event for us. Definitely learn a lot about the dynamic track in that as well. Because um, I'm doing the first four hours and the last two. We've got five guys, so we split it as even as possible. So I'll definitely get a different feel jumping the car perfectly clean, 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 clean track. And then I'll get in at the end and it'll be rubbered in like no tomorrow after 24 hours of running. So we're just in cruise control. We're not right at the moment. Nothing's going on. We're not going to gain any places. There's no point risking the car. And yeah, we've got enough fuel as well. So there we go. Although, Ian and Bo could get interesting. Yeah, car's not doing what I want. It's kind of sliding in the front now. I guess this is... Whoa, we break too late. It's what you get for putting more focus into one that V8 supercar event than the other. Um, of course, Premier Series is priority over official for reasons that I won't say on here, but... If you know the ins and outs of the yeah, supercar car racing world, you'll know what I'm talking about. But also in two weeks' time, so next weekend's Bath, uh, Spa 24 hour. The weekend after is the Bathurst 1000 in the Premier Series, so two fairly big big ticket endurance races coming up. And should have good results in them. We are kind of going into this 24 hour expecting a win. We are definitely the fastest driver pair, driver combo. There's five of us, so it's not really a pair. And we've had the fastest car all season, we've just had the worst luck. We've put it on pole almost every race, but yet we haven't won a race yet. And then Bathurst 1000, see how that goes. Um, Just have to go back on that brake by changing mode earlier. Car starting to slide a bit on the brakes when it shouldn't have been. You have about five left, Drifting it! Good flag, Bob. Oh, stop complaining. Maybe if he actually tried to pass him, we wouldn't have to complain about blue flags all the time. But after the, we did the Premier Series round here back early August, I stopped hating this track as much, I kind of got in sync with it, I got the car feeling good. Um, I think my last Donington video in this car was just, just bag the absolute crap out of Donington, but it's a pathetic
pathetic racetrack. It's still a pathetic racetrack, but I don't hate it as much. I will willingly drive it now. But yeah, it's still boring, and this dinky little chicane. Like, come on. That, even though that other Grand Prix layout is pathetic, that's just... Try harder next time, please. Next week's Mid-Ohio. Even better! To be honest, this schedule this season is probably one of the worst I've seen in the V8 since I've started doing it. About two years ago now. don't think there's any Oran Park, there's no Phillip Island, like you've just taken away the two, two out of the three Aussie tracks. And as much as I hate Phillip Island, it's a V8 supercar track, you shouldn't be taking that off the schedule. Even if, you know, drivers who are very vocal on the forums hate it, those of us who don't feel the need to whinge, moan, groan about everything in the forum, might love the track, but, you know, whatever. Schedule's a schedule, we've got to deal with it. Hopefully next season. Season 1 of 2016 is a bit better with the schedule. Last season was pretty good. Not gonna lie, that was a good schedule. I think the introduction of the fuel tank restrictions as well made it a lot better. Uh, this race was 100% fuel restriction, so you can use the whole tank if you felt like it. We haven't actually lost that much ground to bow recently. So here we go, final lap. And then this boredom fest is over. I do apologise. I don't anticipate races getting boring. It's good at the start, but yeah. I then I have to kind of fill the space with words. And then I drive worse to a certain extent. Oh, there's Bo. I think he had a bit of an off. He's got no rear bumper. That was certainly a surprise. Awesome win there, Ethan. Shut up. We're not, no one's finished yet. Shut up. I hate people to talk before everyone's finished. Dirty guy. We have a slow car on the right. Go left. But There's anyway, the guys, there we go. Finished at, uh, started fifth, thanks to Bo pushing driver. his sort of teammate wide at turn one. We put it up to fourth, and then the car was, it stayed on as I'm doing the same lap times at the start as the finish, but these guys had another level of pace. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the flip side.